Union government under the BJP tries to create a unitary culture promoting oneness. One nation, one ration, one nation, one tax, one nation, one market, one language, one exam, one election, one nation, one religion, one nation, one party. This is where what you're trying to lead to. But we have, you have to understand that that will never happen. Never. This country has seen enough. This country has withstood enough. And our people, the people of this nation, will fight. You continue to undermine the power of the states. You continue to delegitimize the work we have done. Shame. You continue to insult us. You do not understand what a welfare state is and what freebies are. You continue to call us names, but we have set examples. We have proved that we can create models of social justice. We can create models of inclusive development, which you have miserably failed Great, yes. to do so. Sir, unfortunately, in 1967, when one of our leaders, Peras Rear Anbaragan, was in the Rajya Sabha, he said, in November when he spoke, he said that governors are being used as tools against states in Rajya Sabha. He, he said that governors are being used as tools against elected governments by the union government. Shit. He said that, sir. He said it. I am just quoting him. The same I, I am just quoting him. 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 Sir, the Tamil Nadu... So the Tamil Nadu governor has delayed assent to around 20 bills passed by the Shame. state legislature. Shame. Including crucial bills like prohibition of online gambling Shame. and regulation of online games. And it's just not Tamil Nadu which stands alone in this fight. We've seen what happened in West Bengal. Maharashtra. What happened in Maharashtra. In Kerala, the governor threatens to withdraw ministers. And in Nagaland, in Telangana, yeah, every government which is not a, which is a non-BJP government, I think uh, we have to fight battles with the governor. But Dr. Ambedkar has rightly stated in the Constituent Assembly that the governor does not have any individual discretion and has to act according to the aid and advice of the Council of Ministers. I think this government, when it sends governors to states, which are non-BJP states, should ask them to read the speeches of Dr. Ambedkar or at least kindly advise them what <laughs> this country stands for and what federalism is. Because you are the ones who keep talking about cooperative federalism. So you should teach them to cooperate and understand the importance of federalism. But you do not listen. You could not listen to this, uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, when he spoke here, you were interrupting because you're not used to listening. It is a, something which you don't know what, how to do. Listen to sense. Listen to sense. But, and, and uh, I think this year you forgot in Tiruvalluvar because uh, there are no elections in Tamil Nadu. Yeah. <laughs> but I like to remind you, a king without an honest critical council needs no enemies to come to ruins. So if you do not listen to what the opposition says, to what the people say, to what the press says, to what people have to say to you, then you do not need enemies to bring you to ruins.